All right, today we are going to unbox a fresh Macintosh 512K and hence which I, I got at uh, the Vintage Computer Festival and uh, Luca is our Apple specialist here. And I'll put you on a tripod and we are going to imagine that we're in 1980 something. Uh, open 1985. 85 to 85? Yeah, because they announced that uh, it came out in 85. Right. And, uh, yeah. Alright, so... Paracord, that's very interesting. And then fortunately, uh, they did put the, uh, the, the battery out, the, the, the CMOS battery out, because it leaked. So better out than in. Right. Yeah. No and, damage. Uh, Limited warranty, so if it doesn't boot, and uh, we decided we would drive to uh, Cupertino and then return it or annoy them. <laughs> All right. it, oh, look at that, it's just, it has the Apple logo on, on the thing. I mean, nobody else was doing that at the time, right? Yeah. Nor, you, no, look at only color boxes. Yeah, were color boxes, only only them, right? yeah, for Palma, because they were expensive. Right. And then, no, we cleaned it up and we repacked it, but it was essentially pretty clean. Uh, and you can see it's slightly yellow, but it's supposed to be yellow, right? Uh, but it's a little yes, less yellow on the bottom, yeah. but not bad at all. It looks yeah, almost new. Not used much. Yeah. yeah. It's not new, not used much. All right, and then in beautiful Apple fashion, everything is beautifully done. You can see the number of the mouse from the bottom. There's a cutout. So it's just, just oh, a little Apple logo. I mean, I can't imagine how much more that would have cost on the mole I mean, to do that. And then our uh, original mouse. And Luca told me it's not used much because the little plastic tabs here are still intact. And it is uh, one of the early uh, DB9 mice before they changed to the round plug. Yeah, before the ADB. Yeah. All right. And keyboard. I mean. Same attention to detail, logo. Uh, oh, I probably didn't repack it right, but because I suppose the window would have been with the, the serial number. Yeah, probably. All right. So, so that wouldn't have been tolerable. Here's the keyboard. Oh, look at that. It has a little plug with, oh, that's what I, I, I put it on the wrong half. Is that, but it has a little plug with an Apple logo on it. So we, 5K of tooling right there, right? for. <laughs> the beautiful flag. Keyboard is in pretty good shape. Uh, actually, I didn't clean it, did you? No, no, no so that's not, uh, not, not, not at all. Right. And uh, the keyboard. Yeah. Man, it's still a pleasure to open up. Yeah, it's a. Uh, no. You can years. see the difference how it's well packaged. 32 years, years uh, after the fact, it's still a pretty machine. No, the Macintosh is the only machine that my kids. The first time they saw it, they oh, that's a cute new computer, yeah. <laughs> right? <laughs> they wouldn't say that about an IBM uh, yeah. 5150, would they? Yeah, it's more than cute. Yeah. Yeah, it's just, to this day, it's just a masterpiece. Okay, well, uh, we're just going to see if it boots. Okay, we haven't done anything to it. Uh, this. Oops. I think it's clean enough that... Well, it's not dusty, so... We'll just do that and we'll, we'll, we'll feeling brave enough to... Usually I open all my stuff and I check it before uh, I, I turn it on, but yeah, we feel brave with that one. Well, the, the ball is... No, yeah, did you check it? Yeah, I check it, it's clean. Looks, uh, looks good. Yeah. Yeah, it's very clean. Huh? Yeah. Never used it, I'm almost or very yeah. well cleaned it. And, and, and by the way, this is the big progress. So, no, this is the, the, the big uh, contribution of Apple to, to the mouse between the Alto and this one. They made the ball removable, yeah. right? And so that users easy could to remove, maintain easy to it. And, and that's, that's just something that's totally impossible to do in the original Alto mouse. All right. Uh, you feel brave enough? Okay. Contact. That's good. It beeps. Yeah, it beeps uh, in a way that means that uh, the. Uh -huh. Yes. 
So oh. everything is, uh, this is even, working. This, this, this is a modern stuff, right? Okay, so uh, we are going to try to do Mac missiles because it's on a... Actually, that's an 800K. So this is a Macintosh and 512 enhanced. Yeah. And the great convenience of it is that it has the 800K disk. You don't have to go all the way to 400K. So I did that 800K disk in my Mac SE. And we'll see. It has system 4.1, so that should be Good. okay. Gee, that's been the easiest restoration ever. Hey, it boots. Yeah. I mean, the screen is very sharp. This has hard you, can, uh, you can uh, control the brightness of yeah, 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 but it's, it's just fantastic. Welcome to Macintosh. Yeah. All right. Well, uh, okay, well, that was an easy restoration. Thank you very much. Uh, that's the end of the video. All right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I have the mouse that's too slow as usual. Yeah, so you can check it. Control panel. Crunch, 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 zip, zip, zip. All right, mouse. Make my mouse work. There we go. Or fast. Yeah, we'll be easier. Click. It was on tablet, that's why. Yeah, that's by default. Oh, by default, it does tablet, right? It's easier thing. Mac Messiah, so that's Avi Tevanians. Uh, so we can. I, I'm not very. About the finder. Da -da 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 -da. Total memory 512k, 356 for finder and 156 for system, and it has plenty of memory le left. Uh, so finder 6.0, system 4.2. Okay. Uh, are you good at max missiles? Yeah, it works. So that wouldn't run on, on um, my emulator, because that's. Uh, if I wouldn't run on the SC at all. Yeah. There is also the nice uh, music. Uh, yeah. Okay, what do I do now? Oh, that's the intro. Yeah, you need By to see. By Avi Tevanian, of course, which we... Yeah, yeah. Is, is, there is, and is the top. Is he still the current CTO? No, he's not the CTO of... Uh, no, not anymore. No, he, now he's a, oh, B, he's a BC. Oh, okay, so what do I do? Okay, so I don't know how to play the game. All right. Whichever. Yeah. All right. But it works. Well, uh, congratulations. That was a very nice restoration. <laughs> Let's do stuff with it. Okay. So I have more accessories here. I have a hard disk. Yeah, that's this is 20. 20 meg hard disk. The first one. Yeah. So this one didn't come with it. I, I found it at weird stuff. Um, in actually the sec section of the stuff that was not admitted yet where we're doing something else for the museum. And uh, so I have less confidence in that one. And then I bought an extra uh, disk drive, which uh, actually I bought the wrong one. Well, it's kind of right because it will plug in. It's an 800K, but it's for the Apple II. So it so doesn't yeah. have the, the correct design, yeah. not the correct. Yes, yeah, so as a design, so the we, Apple IIc, yeah. which came out in 1984. Too. Right. Uh, okay. All right. You can quit it. Yeah, oh, yeah, fine. I hope you quit. I quit with me. Oh, yeah. okay. Okay, okay, you did it. All right, let's try the driver. I think we haven't plugged it in either, but that one is probably nothing in there that's serviceable anyhow. All right, back in a minute when we have it done. All right. Which means exactly the same. Yeah. So, so look at that. Steve Jobs was there when the, the, <laughs> the line matches. Exactly. I mean, and it's a so important, and b nobody else would have cared, right? But I do care. All right. Contact. Yep. Yeah. The fans not even turning on. No. Okay. Not ah, finally we have something to restore here. Yeah. Excellent. The, the, the probably the power supply All right. side. Yeah. So fortunately, there is something that doesn't work on the Mac. And uh, this Mac, it doesn't eject the diskette, which gives us the opportunity to open it up and uh, put it on something soft. 
this way. Okay, I'll put it this way so you can see. And there are two uh, Torx 15 screws at the bottom. So you need a Torx 15 screw screwdriver. And <laughs> it's about here, here. And I'm, yeah, where is it? Yeah, about there. So I'm like a centimeter short. Uh, and uh, so you need what's called a Mac cracker, it's a longer T15. May I just take this one and uh, machine the shank so it goes that far down and make my own Mac cracker. All right. When you don't have a Mac cracker, you got to make your own. Oh, they don't make those things very round, do they? Okay. Let's see, maybe this. Okay, so now I should be able to Mac crack. There you go. Oh, piece of cake. More over here. Okay, one more screw. That was my problem. Yeah. Ta da! Oh, and the famous box with all the signatures here. Quite a few guys. Steve Jobs over in the corner. Nope, that's it. Oh, hey! Alright, here's our 68,000. Memory, you can't remove or add any. That's a beautiful board. And uh, no leaking capacitors on that one. That's apparently an S Mac SE or, la or later Mac problem. Alright. Alright, so for those who have never seen the inside of a Mac, it's made w wonderfully well. It's just one board here, one board at the bottom. CRT, cage, and that's pretty much it. Alright, so the, that disc isn't dirty at all, and so why isn't it ejecting the discs? So I reconnected the drive, put a disc in it, and get it to go. It makes this weird noise. And I believe it's trying to eject it, but the motor is not uh, is not making anything happen. Loose gear or broken gear, it looks like. So that's the assembly. I bet you something's broken in the gearbox in there. It's a broken tooth right here. She's broken because yeah. Oh, uh, that stuff. That is stuff. I went and looked at uh, all dead servos, and I might have found a gear that works. So here is a uh, is the gear I put in this little fixture. I need to redrill the uh, hole. It's too small. Okay, see if that 
works. Okay, what worked worked on the gear hole a bit to make it looser. That looks much better. Okay. Okay, and it was good to me too. <laughs> All right. Okay, it, it grinds a bit, but I will do. You know what? I think uh, I am actually reinventing the wheel or in this case the gear because I looked up and uh, apparently it's a known problem this particular gear uh, loses its all its strength like it, it crumbled in my hand it, did, it really did that so people make new ones so I'll just order the right gear because I think the one I replace is going to uh, uh, I can hear it grinding so it's not going to last for too long I didn't know the Sony described eject mechanism as a known weakness and I fell right into it. We can finally use the 512 for what we wanted, which is to play Dark Castle. It doesn't run very well on, on an SE or an SE30. Uh, it's actually possible to run it, but it's very hard. And look at that. That's a copy from the French version. Uh, Executé. Just go to it. Oh, I need to click, click it. So because you have only one disk in the uh, 512, uh, usually you have your system and your application in the same disk, which is a big mess, and which is why you most likely need an external disk uh, or a hard disk and I have both but right now we are dealing with the original yeah Tar castle where do I click I do click right these are, these are my high scores <laughs> beginner Play. So this is a really neat game with really cool graphics. Okay, so you have the choice of one, two, three, four doors. And you want to start with one or two. And that's why you need the disc to eject because I got stuck there. Insert, insert the Dark Castle 2 and you'll spend your time swapping the skets, right? And so just do that for a demo and then I'll put it on the disc or use the uh, external disc. Grind, 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 grind. There you go. Uh oh, and I've become really bad at this. I can't, I can't remember how it works. Mama, mama! pretty soon. <laughs> I'll do a better review once I've practiced a little bit, but the uh, Mac 512 lives.